Hello to bros and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is your boy Alvedril. As you can see, I'm in front of my machine. I have opened my VirtualBox uh, software. You might be using any virtualization solutions. The, the process is the same. So as you can see on the left, I have all my virtual machines, but I'm, I'm having a problem here. When I try to start one of them, I'm going to try Windows 10. I click start and it's giving me this error failed to open the session for Virtual Machine 10. So I'm going to click on details over here and it's telling me that not a hypervisor partition, that's odd. And below it says BTX is disabled in the BIOS for all CPU modes. So that's very odd. So why I'm getting this? So on this machine, this is um, Asus Maximus uh, 8 Hero. I updated the BIOS for these machines in the some time ago, so I believe that might be the problem. You might have the LHP, the process is going to be similar, okay? So we don't have much to do over here. As you have seen, we have to go to the BIOS. So I'm going to restart the machine. Allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera. So we are waiting for the operating system to stop and to reboot. Let's go to my other monitor, which is smaller. And as you can see over here, it's asking me for a password. So if you don't have the password or you don't remember it, I have I have made a video about that in the past. For this model, you can click on the top right of this screen for that. So I'm going to type the password over here and I'm going to press Dell or F2 to access the BIOS, okay? Once you are in the BIOS, you can see how it looks. Um, from here, we have to go to Advanced. Once you are in Advanced, we have to go to CPU Configuration at the top. Now we're going to scroll down and we have to look for Intel Virtualization Technology because this, is an, in, uh, this motherboard has an Intel processor. So we're going to select Disable. I mean, it was disabled, now enabled. Let's go to exit now, save changes and reset. Do you want to save and reset? It's going to give you an overview of the changes that you have made. Yes, I want to do it. I'm going to click OK. Now it's going to reboot. And while we're waiting, this is a good time for you to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. That really helps my channel a lot. So thank you, thank you very much. Now we're going to type the password again. We are not going to go to the BIOS. We're going to wait for this to load. Now let, let me change to my Windows screen, which is the bigger one. So the, the hard drive is very slow, it's very old. I might have to replace it. Now, finally, we're going to type the, the password for the username. We wait a few seconds and we're going to open VirtualBox. Now we're going to zoom in. And as you can see, they are the same uh, virtual machines as before. Here, I'm going to select the same one, Windows 10. I'm going to start. We wait for a few seconds and now I'm not getting an error. And I'm going to bring the VirtualBox window over here and, and you can see that Windows 10 is loading. So that's how you enable virtualization on this motherboard. Now you might want to watch one of these videos. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other comment or questions, leave it in the comment section below. And as always, as you know, I'll see you in the next video.